Well, hello everybody. How's it going? Uh, Nas here. We're going to be doing a little bit of a, an unboxing here and uh, probably a review of whatever's in there. Um, so um, let's uh, tear into it. I'm going to go from uh, from the bottom. That way I don't have to uh, cut um, or cover up anyone's address or anything like that. So um, I don't know what this is. I just got my mail and uh, I'm opening up my boxes today. And uh, this is going to be the one box that uh, we're going to take a look at. So uh, let's be surprised together. Oh, so this is the bottom. Oh, interesting. Cool, man. He used, uh, or she, used a bunch of these uh, envelope things. Let's uh, put this over here. There we go. That's out of the way. So that's, that's nice. I'm going to use that for something. Uh, later. Oh, okay, I know exactly what this is now. Okay. You kids are in for a treat because this is uh, my Kaido house. Um, oh, yeah. Um, we're going to be opening this up. Um, I'll show you this real quick. Hopefully you like it. I've been waiting for this for a while. Um, yeah, Daniel Wu. You guys know him. Uh, maybe you guys know him as a as an actor, a Chinese actor. Uh, quick quick story about him. Uh, my man. Um, I think he was born in America, and then he moved back to China. And, really blew up as a actor in movies and stuff uh became popular and famous and then moved to america again and uh became famous and popular here and uh i think uh, what was that show he was uh popular or famous for um wastelands i think something like that i didn't watch it but uh, i hear it's very good so i'll check that out but I know him because of his car. Yes, that's right. He has a real car, uh, Datsun 510. I recommend you uh, look that up on YouTube and see it for yourself. But my man, Daniel Wu, uh, he got himself one of these after, uh, in his older age, uh, he picked up one of these cars in real life and um, uh, hooked it up and all that good stuff. But when he was younger in USA, uh, he was a, a skater boy, and uh, he, I know all of you in your head right now, finish that sentence with, see you later, boy. Leave a comment down below if that's what happened. Psychology. But uh, I'm not killing time, I'm just trying to remember everything about this because I wasn't expecting these to be in that box. These were supposed to come like uh, another couple of days or so, so I don't know how these came here uh, so soon. Uh, I'm freaking, I'm just excited because I'm a huge Kaido House fan, first of all. And uh, second of all, I'm a huge Junimai fan. I've uh, been a fan of his ever since he worked for Mattel and designed Datsuns and Mustangs and C10s and a whole bunch of other castings for Hot Wheels. So Junimai is a legend and now he's a self-made man making Kaido House with a Mini GT. And uh, I have a lot of them. I also have a whole bunch of chases as well. Um, I still need to find something autographed by him. That would be one of my grails. Hopefully uh, an actual car. But anyway, this is about uh, Daniel Wu. And uh, so yeah, my man, uh, one of his friends owned a Datsun 510. All right, let's hope uh, what's in here. We'll save that for last. <laughs> um, so yeah, my man, um, his friend owned a Datsun 510 as a daily driver, and uh, he fell in love with it. And uh, now, after all of his success, uh, he bought himself one, and uh, it it's a beautiful car. Uh, just check out, uh, check that out on YouTube, guys. So what's to say? The Tanto is uh, the often overlooked but easy ally as a deadly younger brother of the Katana. There you go. It's the, the smaller sword. Basically, it's the 
indoor use. So the uh, I believe right. Uh, so the katana is the big sword, uh, samurai, and uh, tanto is the. There's also a small one. I forget what it's called. Um, wakasashi. I, I don't remember. But yeah, Tanto, I think, is that mid-sword for indoor uh, battle stuff. So anyway, I've been wanting to get this for a long time. Um, I haven't because for some reason I thought that because this car is so simple and basic, uh, it would be easy to get. And uh, then I looked for it recently online. It was incredibly hard to find. The only sellers I could find were on um, uh, in Japan. So, uh, yeah, now, I mean, I found a couple more now, but, um, yeah, this is really cool because, um, I'm, <laughs> I'm really happy that this seller had, that's right, the chase and the regular. So let's have a look at the regular. So yeah, uh, Daniel was an awesome dude, uh, as far as from everything I've seen about him and, uh, watched on the tubes, he's a good actor. And uh, I need to get this to not be widescreen. Hold on a second, guys. That's better. Here we go. So yeah, he's just a good actor and uh, awesome guy from everything I've seen about him. And uh, this is uh, basically based on his real car, um, which is awesome. I love that it's called Tonto. I love, um, you know, uh, his story. Uh, very inspirational. And uh, I love this car. I love how it's made. And dude, wait till you see, like, if you guys don't know, just like I said, check it out on YouTube. Um, his real car just looks amazing. And I love this whole, the way it is. I love the bronze, um, you know, detail, the wheels, the grill, the rear mirrors. <clears throat> Look at those headlights. What a beautiful freaking car, man. <laughs> um... Yeah, so, uh, I mean, what else can you expect out of a Kaido house other than uh, amazing detail? So there's your uh, translucent red taillights. Tanto 72. Uh, beautiful uh, lettering on the wheels, which is <laughs> crazy that it says Tanto on that as well. Little sticker right there. Oh, that's a Kaido house sticker, I believe. I know they have those on the website. Let's have a look, see at the engine. Ooh, if we can. Uh, 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 just need a little gap. There we go. So yeah, um, guys, the I I snagged these up real quick. Uh, they were the price for both was insane, um, insanely cheap. <laughs> because uh, if you would try to buy one of these right now, just go on uh, eBay and check it out. I think average price for one of these is like fifty bucks. Um, yeah, and I got this and the chase. Um, I, I'm not going to tell you how much, but, um, definitely for both of these for less than the price of just the chase. So, wow. And this guy's in Pennsylvania as well. So dude, if you're watching this, um, thank you for the amazing deal. I can't believe that nobody else jumped on this. Uh, because this is wow look at that engine this thing is just fantastic man but yeah um <laughs> i love being a collector of kaido house i have quite a few um and uh i actually just ordered the cap again i've had that cap uh, two years ago when uh, june Mai launched his website uh, then I just wore it out. I wore it every day until it was like nasty. So I just threw it out. So I recently placed an order for another one uh, so I can represent uh, my fandom to an amazing artist and designer. Uh, but yeah, but this car, I'm telling you guys, if you're a Kaido House collector, get yourself the, uh, the Daniel Wu um, version, number 41. Um, I, I know there's another version which is blue, but like those are kind of, those are a lot easier to get. I'll probably end up getting one as well, but for now I'm good uh, with just this one because this is basically the exact like replica of Daniel Wu's car. So it's really cool. I don't think, ah! Hi. So the phone fell, right? 
the car is fine. The car just went like that. <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, that's that's how it goes, man. Uh, yeah, my phone is not balanced on this little uh, thing that I have here. Oof. Thank god. Jeez, that would have sucked. I'm not cutting that out because Nas, your boy Nas, likes to keep things uh, real. As you can see, nothing's damaged on this bad boy. Everything's all right. I literally caught the car and let the freaking $2,000 phone camera <laughs> freaking hit the floor. That's, uh, yeah, priorities, guys, priorities. All right, let's check out the, um, uh, whatchamacallit. Let's check out the chase. That's, uh, I still can't believe the price I got. It's ridiculous. Okay. So let's keep this bad boy right there. All right, so you got a little preview in the beginning. Never underestimate the underdog. Hell yeah, boy. There you go. Made in Oakland, California. Now the next step would be fantastic if uh, I learned about Daniel Wu, like having a signing or something. Man, this thing has not been taken out. Usually after taking it out, these are easily, they pop out easy. Oh man. Look at that beauty. This has a, a white, oh, so yeah. That's the cool part about the chases. Hold on. Okay, so let's have a look at it first, then we'll show you the comparisons. So there's the bare metal, beautiful freaking Kaido House chase. I just can't believe the deal I got on this. I, you know, it's not every day you get a good deal on something, <laughs> especially something like this. Especially since I set out on eBay to find just this. All right, let's, let's be more careful here. I set out on eBay just to find that, uh, this guy right here, because I love the color. I love the, like, the fact that it's Daniel Wu, and I didn't have any of his versions in my collection. And um, I was like, why are they so expensive? I, I guess they're either popular or like they didn't make as many. I, I don't know about that stuff, the internal things of it, but um, yeah, man, with the freaking chase, like this chase is fantastic. Like the bare metal and the, like that bronze, what a perfect match. <laughs> so as you can see, the interior is the color of this car. So on the actual car, the interior is like, a, what is it? It's just flat out black. Yeah. And this one so you know you know what car it came from usually they paint like the front lip here the color like they leave that color on that front lip but not here here everything's bare metal and the same except for the interior which is this color like that is a cool thing huh i love that There you go, there's your uh, little comparison right there. Man, <laughs> I love Kaido House, dude. I love this thing. I love this hobby. I love this scale. I know that Kaido House is not true 164. It doesn't matter. It's close enough. Uh, Kaido House is more of like a designer uh, die cast, you know what I mean? It's uh, You're uh, purchasing it also because of the name, because of the designer that made this June and I, you know what I mean? That's what these cars are all about. It's not about creating an exact replica, pure 164 scale, just to uh, show the car which is awesome too. I collect that stuff as well. I collect Mini GT for what it is as well. But boy, oh boy, this is awesome. <laughs> and as I do with all my other uh, 
uh, whenever I pick up a chase, I show off my other chases. So uh, stick around. Let me uh, show you the other ones. And um, man, I am just so happy about this. Yeah, let me show you the other chases. Um, let's have us a little bonus feature. Uh, those of you who are just here to uh, see the unboxing and see the comparison of regular and chase, uh, that's done. We're going to uh, have a look at my other chases and I kind of want to compare, see if they do that with all of the interiors. I almost feel like I should know that. Okay, we're stuck on the cardboard for some reason. Weird. All right, let's close that up. Love that underdog freaking quote. So, um, as far as chases go, guys, I, uh, I'm not like a chase collector, but I am a Kaido house collector. So uh, I kind of wanted to have each um, like version of each car uh, of each chase, you know? So like, um, I don't need two versions of this car from different colors. Like I wanted to have uh, like, let's get this going. So there's the uh, Pro Street with the wing and all that. So there's this setup. And this setup, as you can see, does have uh, mirrors. It has the big wing on the back. I think that's pretty much all the dif <laughs> difference in that. But um, so yeah, see what I was talking about? Um, like they usually left that front uh, lip right there with the same color. And then the interior is the color of the actual car. So that's how that goes, okay. So I guess maybe when it's not Pro Street, they just do the ah. they just do the interior yeah so there you go there's these two bad boys um then we have the wagon version this is from the the green let's see oh okay so see they didn't do the lip on the wagon either interesting but the interior is the color of the car. So that's awesome. So there's this chase. Uh, then we have probably one of my favorite castings from June and I, the Hornet, the R34, and the Hornet livery. I freaking love this car. I love this uh, in not chase form, honestly. I uh, really love this car. I love that they um, teamed up with Tamiya. This is actually based on a remote control car. Deliveries off of a remote control car, which is kind of funny. That's why they teamed up with Tamiya, so they can use this livery. I think that's awesome. I love it. Love the Hornet. <laughs> This is definitely not an off-roader. <laughs> definitely not. But what a beautiful freaking car, right? Yellow roll cage. Oh, we have room. There you go. Uh, then we have the uh, R33. Look at this beauty. This one really looks good as a chase as well. It's like this car would just look good painted gray to be honest with your silver just makes all the details pop look at that so yeah as you can see by the rear mirrors this was the blue so that's how you can tell on that june am i really switches things up man but yeah and of course uh there's also they're not all <coughs> Oh, well, on camera, there's really more room. <laughs> okay. Uh, and there's also this guy. This is also a chase, but not raw, obviously. Um, this one, you can tell it's a chase by the gold um, inner tubes. So uh, I don't know why June and I chose to do these particular releases um, where it's exactly the same as a regular car. The only difference is the gold wheels, which is really weird. And I think that's why a lot of people don't like this chase, because it's just like the regular car. So not that big of a difference, I guess. 
I don't. I I love this man. I actually got this in the train and the trade from a Mustang Queen and whatnot. I won. Um, I won one of these chases on her um, uh, box cracking or whatever they're called, um, and I actually guessed the chase and uh, it was just like this one, Pro Street, but uh, it was the red red one. And like I told you before, since I don't really set out to get like a bunch of the same casting, I already had this one, so I didn't really need uh, another one. So I was like, hey, if you got something to trade me for, uh, let's do it. So I gave her the red one, <coughs> and she made her boyfriend Vic <laughs> give me this in trade. <laughs> so there you go. So I'm definitely happy with that. So yeah, guys, there you go. This is um, these are all my chases, and uh, uh, very happy to add the good old Tonto to my collection with the chase of it. Um, absolutely love this color. Absolutely love the color combination, colorway or whatever. Um, love the bronze. Just it all looks so good together. Love it, man. Daniel Wu, man. Daniel Wu's Tonto 72. <laughs> uh, it's so cool. So yeah. Love Kaido House, man. I love this. Um, love collecting them. Um, very happy with this edition. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, little review and then the show off of the, um, the chases. Uh, just so you guys know, again, uh, not that I need to explain myself to anyone, um, I'm not a chase collector, and I only paid for two chases out of all of these, okay? So, um, let's see. This one, my friend Aaron of Cheap Ass Bricks, he went to the flea market, and uh, my man uh, stumbled on a, a reseller there. This was in a sealed box, you know, just like this, only sealed. And uh, he gave me a call, and he's like, yeah, this dude's selling Kaido houses, and I didn't have this seafoam green one. So I was like, yeah, man, pick one up for me. And uh, he picked it up for me, and I opened it on camera at home and was very surprised. I filmed the whole thing. Um, it was the chase. So I paid about, I forget, like $15, $20 for this. $15, $20. Bucks. Um, Let's see, this one I won, like I said, on the Mustang Queens. She's actually, where's her sticker? There you go, this one right there. Uh, Mustang Queen on whatnot. <coughs> she, uh, case break, that's what they call it. And uh, where they basically open a fresh case full of the same model. And obviously the chase is in there. And then they auction them all up uh, blindly without knowing which one's the chase. And uh, one person guesses it, and one person gets it. So I think I also paid about $15 for this chase. So I got very lucky again. <laughs> so yeah, this, this goes for like $100, $150, bucks, I would guess. Uh, roughly, they all, they all are valued between $100 and $150. Bucks. Some more, depending. But yeah. So yeah, uh, $15, $15. And uh, let's see, was it this one? Oh yeah, this one, this one. Uh, so this one, like I told you the story, I won another one of these, <laughs> only the red one. I believe the Japan series with the number four on it, I think, I don't remember. But I won that, $15, $20 also, got really lucky and guessed the right number on that one as well. And so I traded for this uh, chase. So there you go, now I have that chase. Um, this one I paid for, uh, I think I got this from my guy also on whatnot. Um, I'm not going to tell you how much, but I did buy that. Uh, this one I also bought on, uh, on eBay, but for this I paid like, uh, I think like 50 bucks. That's the only reason I bought that because I was like, what, why, why are you selling that? Why is that only 50 bucks? Like there's this tonto right now is about 50 bucks not the chase right so um yeah so i was like yeah please i i buy <laughs> i think uh shipping included as well so i got lucky on that so you know 15 15 50 um 
This one I paid pretty much full price, but this came with the with the regular, just like this one did. So um, anyway, thanks, my guy. And um, this one uh, I got for again for an incredible price. Basically, yeah, I'm not gonna tell you, but like for this and this, I got both of these together. Uh, and I'm just incredibly happy that this guy sold them for, you know, not the chase price. <laughs> like I said, I got both of those for less than uh, one chase is worth, way less. So uh, I'm amazed. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, I'm not, you know, I'm not rich. Uh, I, you know, uh, I, I'm very careful with what I spend on. I try to find the right deal. And uh, since I'm a huge Kaido House guy, I don't go out and buy different chases from other companies. You know, like, it's not, you know, even though I do have quite a good collection, that's not what I do. Like, I'm not I'm not a chase guy, you know what I mean? So I might be in the future. It's, uh, you know, whatever. You can do whatever the heck you want. But I just wanted you guys to know that, you know, I just got really lucky with most of, most of these, with three of these anyway, or, f yeah, three or four. And uh, I only paid for this guy, pretty much, uh, because that's just epic. I, I freaking love that thing. So yeah, uh, yeah, man, uh, collect what you like, right? And that's what I do. And uh, so far I have uh, each version of each Kaido House release in chase form. So I know down the line there's, there's also uh, the Dooley truck, there's the other C10, uh, the Silverado. There's um, NSX coming out, BMW is coming out, so hopefully I'll somehow get those chases. But I'm not worried about it at all. I want to get those cars first. Dude, that NSX, oh my god, I want that NSX. <laughs> that is beautiful. But yeah, June Mai is doing some awesome stuff, and I'm very happy about it. So yeah, um, yeah. again, collect what you like. That's, uh, that's what I do, and uh, I'm very happy with it. It puts a smile on my face. These things are freaking badass. So yeah, all right, guys, I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll leave you off with my slogan of the channel, something for you to think about. Own your collection. Don't let it own you. It's on my sticker. <laughs> all right, everyone. Peace and love.